In today's pet advice, we are fighting fleas. Dr. Amy Guernsey with University Veterinary Care Center is joining us live. Dr. Guernsey, good morning. Good morning. Well, tick season is upon us. Is there a flea season as well? Um, we definitely think of fleas being more of a summer problem, but because fleas are so good at setting up shop inside our homes, I really see them year round. Um, fleas have a life cycle and really only the adults live on our animals. The larvae, the pupae, the eggs, they exist out in our environment, in our homes in much, much larger numbers. Well, they're obviously a nuisance to our pets, but how dangerous are fleas? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, they can range from just being an incidental finding to causing skin infections, but in really horrific situations where you have a, a really tremendous flea burden, they can be life-threatening. I, I have seen animals die from flea infestations because they drain all the blood from the animal. Um, so they are something to be taken seriously. Now, scratching kind of seems like a given, but are there other signs and symptoms that our dog or cat may have fleas? That's the main one. Um, typically, if I have a dog or cat that comes to me that's itchy, that's one of the first things that I look for. We use a special comb to go through their coat. We look for the fleas themselves. We'll look for what we call flea dirt, which is actually flea feces. Um, but we, we often find fleas incidentally. Um, you know, a dog doesn't have to be itchy to actually be carrying the parasite. Are they easy to see? Yes, they are. Um, sometimes they're hard to find in different coats, especially if you have an animal with a really thick coat or a dark colored coat. Um, but, you know, pr uh, peering down, especially near the base of the tail, is usually where I'll find them. We'll talk a little bit about the prevention and then treatment if our, our pet does end up with fleas. Sure. Um, so a minute ago I mentioned they have a life cycle, eggs, larvae, pupae, and then the adults. The best way to get rid of fleas is to put a dam in that life cycle. Um, and we typically do that with an effective preventative, usually a monthly preventative. Um, talk to your vet about what's safe and effective because there are lots of products out there. Some of the over-the-counter over products are, are good. Some of them are dangerous. Um, and using those products consistently every month puts a dam in that life cycle so that eventually over time they quit perpetuating in your home. Um, we can help reduce the time it takes to get those fleas under control by vacuuming our homes. And whatever you vacuum, make sure you throw away outside so those eggs aren't hatching out in your closet when you put your vacuum back. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you usually don't have to tint your whole home as long as you're using an effective preventative as it's intended every month. Okay, well we are almost out of time, but any advice should our pet happen to bring fleas into our home? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that part. Any, any advice should our pet happen to bring some fleas into our home? You mentioned uh, empty the, the vacuum outside, which is great advice. Any other tips for us? Right. Um, just making sure that you've talked to your vet about the prevention that you're using and making sure that you're using it correctly. Um, depending on how you're putting it on, whether it be a collar or a topical or an oral, there are specific directions to make sure that it's, it's doing its job. All right, Dr. Guernsey, thank you so much for being with us today. And for more information about University Veterinary Care Center, just head over to universityvetcare.com.